Thank you for joining us here at Beadaholic. Today I want to show you how to use a ring sizer and a ring mandrel. These two particular items are available on the Beadaholic website as a kit for your convenience. A ring sizer is going to measure the size of your finger, pretty self-explanatory. You'll notice on the ring sizing tool that there are numbers along the edge of each circle and these are the numbers of the ring and they actually come from one at the very smallest all the way up to 13 and there's going to be half sizes as well. So the one has a little one next to it and one and a half has a one dash next to it and then it goes on to two and so forth. So what you're going to want to do to get a properly sized ring is you are going to want to find the circle which fits your finger best. The average person's ring finger is about a size six to a seven. I know my fingers are a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna start with a five. It fits, but it actually feels a little bit loose because you don't want it to slip off. So then I'm gonna go down a half a size to a four and a half. And that actually feels pretty good. I could actually, if I had a ring, such as an engagement ring or something, I might want it a little bit tighter just because I want to make sure it doesn't fall off. So there's a four. And that is just about perfect. You can tell it's not cutting off any circulation. It still has room to move, but is really going to have troubles going over my knuckle. I can get it off though. So I'm right in between a four and a four and a half. But the average person again is probably going to be more like a six to a seven. I just happen to have particularly tiny fingers. So once you know the size of your ring, you can go ahead and use a ring mandrel to make a ring from scratch. So if you look at the ring mandrel, you'll see it also has numbers along the edge of it. And they number from one to 15. And these numbers are gonna correspond with the numbers on your ring sizer. So I can take any ring on my ring sizer, and this one happens to be an 11. I'll slide it down, and it's gonna fit perfectly on the 11 mark. So if you are a size 11 ring, then that's what you're going to want to do. So you use these two tools in conjunction with each other. Now this is a plastic ring mandrel, and it's perfect for wire wrapping and wrapping filigree around it, anything where you're just using the pressure of your fingers to make the ring. Also available to you are steel mandrels, and you'll want to purchase one of these when you start getting into metal work, anytime you're using a hammer, anything that exerts a lot of pressure, and then you're going to want to switch over to the steel mandrel. But for a lot of projects that you'll make, you'll just need the plastic one. So really quick, I just want to show you how you might be able to make a filigree ring using the ring sizing tool and the ring mandrel. So I probably am not going to wear this particular ring on my engagement ring finger. I think what I'll do is probably choose this finger right here. So first I need to determine what size that finger is. Let me start with a seven. It's actually pretty good. It's a little bit loose. The ring is probably going to come right off. So I'm going to go down a half a size to a six and a half. And that feels about right. So what you want to do is you want to take your filigree. Now if you're wire wrapping, you would just take your wire. And because this is going to be a little bit wider of a ring, I want to line up the midpoint of the filigree with the midpoint of my six and a half mark. So I'm going to do that like so. I'm just going to use the pressure of my fingers and bend okay once you've fully pressed the ring all the way around the mandrel and you have it molded it does take some firm finger pressure there You'll take it off of the mandrel. You'll see you have a nice round shape to it and it should fit exactly to your finger. 